come here and listen to all of us. I want to thank the Chamber for having us. Um, I'd also like to thank all the candidates that got up here today and spoke. You know, um, you're participating in the rawest form of democracy when you go to city elections. So I appreciate how difficult that is for every single person that gets up here and does it. Um, and in the spirit of that, I wanted to recite the Gettysburg Address verbatim. Okay, so four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth of this continent. No? <laughs> I won't do that then. All right, so it was probably about five years ago where I decided to run for city council the last time. Um, my son Jordan at the time was 14 years old. I had a small baby and a two-year-old. And it was important to me to make this beach the best that it could be for all the families and everybody who lives here. So I was like you. I was sitting in my car, fussing about infrastructure, fussing about being in traffic, fussing about lights. My wife at the time looked at me and she said, hey, we have a rule for Jordan. You can only complain about something for so long before you have to do something about it. So what are you going to do? So at that point, I held my head down and said, hey, I guess I got to run. So that's what I did. So in the last four years, we've faced a lot of challenges. We've had a hurricane. We've had a pandemic. Spent a lot of time in the hurricane up the USC, cutting people out of their homes with our fire department. I even drove a forklift to do uh, a shelter over at Surfside High. Pandemic was very difficult on us. We, we were forced to do some things that we, we really didn't want to do. Those were some hard decisions that we made at the time. And as we learned more, we, we made changes and, and opened things up a little freer. And the last time that I ran, I ran on this structure. We've done a lot of stuff in infrastructure. Uh, I ran on public safety, ran on uh, fiscal conservative or fiscal responsibility, and quality of life. And I think we've done a lot in the last four years over those things. Uh, we've done roads, we've done street resurfacing. One of the things we did is we went through Panama City Beach and created all the streets. And you just have some tails tax money to go back and resurface those streets. We've gotten all the S done, the D's, and we started on the C's. And everybody in our residents are benefiting from Stormwater is being put in at the same time. All the projects that we're funding through the utilities assessment goes directly to stormwater to help those folks. Um, there is no pumping of stormwater. Um, the outfall currently exists. It's just reguiding it. There's no pump. Um, public safety. We did an expansion of the workforce. We had a new fire station that we built. We purchased two new fire engines, and we modernized the police fleet. We also implemented body cams for our police officers for accountability both for our officers and for the public. We needed to expand our police force so we could push into the neighborhoods for community policing. We did that. And the benefit of all of this has been a 25% reduction in the last four years of crime in Panama City Beach. Now anybody who knows me, sees me on, on city council, you know that I'm a fiscal hawk. I'm very, very um, focused on spending money where it needs to be. I'm very responsible with the money that's entrusted with us. Uh, we were able to get a strategic plan in place uh, for the first time in Panama City Beach history. We were able to get a five-year budget for the first time in Panama City's history to give us a better look for what we're seeing out in the future. We also did our very first citizen survey so that we can make sure that the citizens' voices were heard. And we've applied that to the strategic plan, which has also involved the community. And we are marching forward with what our residents want. Quality of life, we did conservation park upgrades. We did a new parking lot, lots of new trail management and expansion. We got a new meeting building going up for classes for kids to come out there and learn about nature. We've built four pickleball courts. We've upgraded the playgrounds and played playground park. And we also put up shape structures so that they could use these structures during the summertime instead of burning themselves. It was fantastic. I heard a lot about that when I was running the last time. And we've required developers to set land aside for parks and for green space in every one of the developments that they have there for the residents that are there. So as you can imagine, as we've had this massive growth over the last few months and the last few years, none of these topics have really changed, right? We still see pressures on our infrastructure. We still see um, lots more residents here where our public safety is under pressure. And we want to make sure that we do not implement an Avalorum tax. And that is my main goal for the next four years, is to ensure that we're uh, responsible with that money so that we don't do that. 
we need to continue. Um, we need to continue the six lanes on the back beach. Uh, that is something that I personally fought for hard in the Bay County Transportation Planning Organization. I'm also on the Florida Metropolitan Planning Organization. I have set sales tax. So all these things are, are, are something that I fought for. And I want to make sure that we continue going down that path. I think we have a good plan. I love Panama City Beach. And thank you for allowing me to speak here. I feel in my heart Panama City Beach is the greatest place to be. I feel a deep sense of responsibility to ensure we continue our great path that our city has begun and continue investing for our families in this beach. Thank you again. I appreciate your spoke and I appreciate